players on the floor. Jade Black was there, as well as number five, Kayla Vimmer. She is all over the court. And Kyle, as we talked about, only eight players on this Iowa Lakes team. Um, they don't substitute a whole lot. What you see is what you get with them out on the floor. Exactly. They don't. They don't have to sub very much. The talent they have on the floor. Uh, they have so much talent, so much athleticism, and it really shows, and they communicate really well with each other. Jay Black puts it down into the net and unable to recover his D-Mac. Jordan Leahy took a chance, dove on the floor, but Iowa Lakes able to get the point, and they now lead it 4-3 to three here in set number two of the regional 11A final. Winner goes to Nationals. Olivia Fisher couldn't put that one down, and now Black tried to drop shot. Fisher with the dig. DMAC, it's Haley Peterson. Peterson gets the kill and the point for the Bears, and they even it up at four apiece early on here in set number two. DMAC substitutes, bringing in Mia Peterson. DMAC on the attack. Lee, or it was Lee Me un unable to and get a wild that spike. wild set there by I believe it was Vimmer and another point back to back points here for the Bears. D Mac has taken an early five to four lead in set number two, a set they have to have and for momentum. In the first set, the Bears had some early success, and I think they're going to need some more early success in this set to get a little momentum going later into the set if they want to close out and possibly win a set against this uh, very good team. Give credit to Lee Mee for the spike there. as She was uh, able to set it off the hands of the combination of Peterson and Jordan Leahy. Fisher puts that one out of bounds, and that one's going to go to Iowa Lakes. Back and forth we go here, Kyle. Yep, what? a really hard hit by Fisher there, but she couldn't control it enough to get it down in play. That serve just gets over the net. And a, a nice spike. hard hit. Roxanne Grunminer smashed that, and Iowa Lakes unable to block it. And the point goes to DMAC. They've tied it back up at six. So Partially blocked by Lee Mee there, but they couldn't get enough on it to put it back on DMAC's side, and it landed on their side in play. And we're tied up again. Sarah Klon with the spot with the serve, and it went off the hands of number 13, Jade Black. And miscommunication is number four, Nikki Meyer. The libero tripped and couldn't get to the ball. So DMAC takes a seven to six lead. Iowa Lakes struggling a little bit here early in the second set. That one goes out of bounds. The drop shot by Kayla Vimmer. Unable to drop it in play, and now a little bit of adversity for the first time here, Kyle. Iowa Lakes trails by two points. That one is dug out. Liang sets it up for Vimmer. Nice dig there. Fisher puts it over and in. lands in the corner. Beautifully placed by Fisher. Olivia Fisher, as you said, Kyle, she's up there and kills for the Bears, second on the team. And there she converts, and a little bit of momentum for DMAC. Let's see if they can keep it rolling. Just want to, and that one put down by Lee Me. Just when you need a point, who do you go to? It's me, right there on the play. Exactly, and they and Pearson got a piece of it, but it still landed out of bounds, and that point uh, goes to the Lakers, and they stopped the little mini run that the Bears had going. And Pearson puts that one down, partially blocked, but it gets over. And now it's 10-7, to 7. You Pearson can with another kill. And you can see, Kyle, the looks on these, on the faces of the DMAC women. They understand how much this match means, this second set, and they know they have to have it. Yeah, they lead 10-7. They, if they can even this up at one set apiece, I think that would be huge going forward. And That's that in. lands down again for Fisher. Olivia Fisher put it down on the line. And a timeout by Coach Scott Teshetter. And Fisher, she is uh, placing her hits very well. She's uh, forcing the Lakers to make some decisions on whether they should let it go or if they have to put it back in play. And for the first time now, Kyle, we see a timeout by Iowa Lakes. Coach Cheddar really realizing the situation here as they trail by four in this match. 
Um, and he realizes that his team's struggling a bit right now, just trying to pull them back together. But give credit to DMAC as they've really come on strong here in set number two. They really have, and a young team responding by losing the first set, and I think they've come out and they've, been, they've played really well here to start off the second set. And now Fisher, who is bl playing very well today so far, she's going to serve it up for the Bears. Fisher puts it in play. Iowa Lake setting it up and smashed down by Zhao Liang. But the Bears recover, and Fisher puts it back across. Nice scrambling defense there by DMAC. Another nice dig by Fisher. That one's put over, but dug out. Woo! That one and was hot. Be beautiful hit by... Uh, I felt the steam coming off that spike by Liang, Kyle. Yes. You could feel the intensity off that one. She went up so high and put that one down extremely hard right into the middle of the Bear defense. They could not recover. And Iowa Lakes is now within three points. And we've got movement again for the second time. And the official calling movement on the Bears fault on Des Moines. And now they're with... Now Iowa Lakes within two. A little bit of confusion going on down there on was, the floor for I was just going to say, DMAC looks a little confused on what they did wrong there. Um, but the side judge explaining it to them. And now a miscommunication by number six, Roxanne Grunmeyer and the libero down and there for DMAC. And after a great run uh, before that timeout by Scott Cheddar, and now a three-point swing for the Lakers. Fisher going to put this one over, and that one is out. And now it and was how good does Scott Cheddar look right now, Kyle? He calls that timeout down 11-7. to seven. They're right back in the great game. Great timeout, and I think he called it at a great time. They were down four points before the timeout, and now after the timeout, it is tied up at 11. DMAC puts it down, but a great dig by Lamy. Harley sets it up for Vimmer out of bounds. Point to the Bears. And DMAC gets it. As they're up 12 to 11. Now the libero, Taylor Salisbury, going to serve it up for DMAC. What a great set number two we've had. As that one oh. lands on the line. And she is intense, Kyle. The intensity that we are seeing on the DMAC side is far superior to that of Iowa Lakes. Iowa Lakes really standing around, not looking as confident. The momentum is definitely on the side of the DMAC Bears. And Salisbury leads the team in aces on the year, coming into regionals with 43. Vimmer that with one the spike was, off the hands of the Bears. That one was partially blocked. Point going to go to Iowa Lakes. And Iowa you, Lakes with so many, as we've said it over and over again, just so many people to go to. They've got Liang, Mi, and Vimmer who can all put the ball in play off the spike. Exactly. So many options. And if you're Harley the setter, you can set it to almost anyone, and they're just going to... As Bash they did it over there. like that. And a nice dig and another nice scramble by DMAC. What a save. They'll put it up. Liang. No Zhao deal. Liang. There's no, no getting in the middle of that. Nope. When they set it up for her, Kyle, she is so dangerous. She can put that spike and place it so well. It's just incredible the talent that she's got at this level. And some of the hits she has, they just go straight to the floor and they don't even give DMAC a chance. To the dig block it out. by Iowa Lakes lands out of bounds, and the point goes to DMAC. So in a back and forth battle in set number two, it's 14 to 13 in favor of the Bears. Number 10, Amanda Lampman and Haley Peterson, number seven, checking in for DMAC. And another Great play. Another. They did not even see that, Kyle. They snuck number seven, Christy Wicks, in behind the setter, and she rose up and put that down. She was blocked a little bit. Great play by the Lakers. Oh, yeah. I don't even think DMAC had any time to react. They just It just went right down to the floor before they even could do anything about it. Fisher put it in. Good dig. The block by DMAC back over. Liang sets it up. Carly Black, or make it Jade Black, puts it in play. So Jade Black off the setup from Zhao Liang. And Kyle, we talked about the fact that the Lakers don't rotate much. They don't really need to. All these players out here can do anything you ask them to. And after, and now a timeout for Patty Harrison as her team is starting to slip a little here early or in the middle of the second set. They've played so well right now, DMAC has in this set. 
They've played very solidly, and to be down two points, it's got to be a little discouraging because Iowa Lakes just keeps coming back every single time. You don't expect them to come back, and they do. They just make it so tough on this DMAC team right now. And I think if you're DMAC, they've had plenty of success offensively, you know, hitting the ball. Uh, I think where they need to stay uh, even with Iowa Lakes is they need to start really stepping up on defense and staying consistent with digging the ball out and start digging some of those hits out, even though it's very hard because Iowa Lakes just, they have so many great hits so far. But I think, you know, if you're DMAC, it's win or go home, and you just got to throw your body on the floor and just dive at anything that you think you have a chance at getting. Absolutely. It's win or go home. These two teams have played the entire year to get to this point. Um, it goes without saying what a great season it is just to get here, but then to advance is another thing. And one of these teams will have that honor of traveling to Nationals after today with a win. D-Max blocked by the front line and it's put over. It was put over Side judge by Salisbury and she called Salisbury out. The, the ball, the thing is when Salisbury put that over, it went on the right side of the pole, meaning it was out of bounds. It and has coach, to go on the left side to stay in, but it crossed the net on the right side of the pole, meaning it's out of bounds. The point's going to go to DMAC. Coach Harrison very upset about that. Thought she had the point. DMAC coming back. They're blocked, and they won't get to this one. The front line of number seven, Christy Wicks, and number 10, Lee Mee, were there. And right now, it's changing of the guard. Iowa Lakes with that four-point lead, and they've got a chance to make it even larger. Zhao Liang will put it over the net and put this one into play. DMAX got to make a move. The block again by the combination of me and Black. Let's Fisher. see if the Lakers want to set it up. They will. Good dig into the net. It was a nice dig, Kyle, by number one, Taylor Salisbury for DMAC. Right idea. Just none of her teammates could get to the ball, and it went into the net. No, and they've had a really hard time controlling their passes when the ball is put in play on their side. And a nice, nice spike with a dig there. by Kalisha Harley. And it's put over by Liang. Here comes DMAC on the attack, out of bounds. And it is now 20 to 14, seven points in a row for the Lakers. It was 14 to 13 at one point, and now it's 20 to 14. And Iowa Lakes quickly gaining momentum and looking much sharper with their yep. serves and their yep. hits. 